Max Blessed Holloway is a favorite in the UFC for his charisma, realness, and prowess in the octagon, and he has dominated over the featherweight division for the better part of half a decade. He's had the highest of highs with wins over fighters such as Jose Aldo and Anthony Pettis. However, that also means he's fell a couple of times in his wars with other elite fighters, namely Dustin Poirier and Alexander Volkanovsky. In his journey to fame, fortune, and glory, the blessed fighter has done well for himself and those around him. In this video, we'll go through Holloway's lifestyle, net worth, fame, fight highlights, and more. Number 1. Max Holloway's Most Famous Fights It takes two to tangle in the octagon, and Holloway has had his share of bloody dances. To become the best in a division, or in any sport, you must have the right partner to elevate you. In Max's case, he's had many. He's been in the ring with the likes of Cub Swanson, Charles Oliveira, Jeremy Stevens, Jose Aldo, and Brian Ortega. These are just a few of the names that have raised the fame and lifestyle of this young fighter. However, the one event that pushed Max forward into stardom was his two wars with Jose Aldo. The champion at that time was Sherdog's 2009 Fighter of the Year, and some have even called him out as being the greatest featherweight in MMA history. Max used his reach and superior striking to gas Aldo out throughout the rounds, and eventually finished him. In both his fights, he was able to earn a TKO win over Jose Aldo in the third round. These wins over the dominant fighter solidified Holloway's respect as a top fighter in the division, and it was his first chance and defense at goal. One other fight prior to his ascension and 13 win streak was his loss to Conor McGregor. Many saw this as a test of his ability and it was likely due to this loss that Max was able to gather himself and come back even stronger. There's a saying of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and this loss highlighted that. He has also said that he wants to meet Conor again in the ring. And the thought of these two fighters coming back together and the careers aligning for another mega fight is crazy. Similar to that of the Dustin Poirier trilogy. Number 2. Net Worth, Cars and Houses Max Bless Holloway has won a total of 4 Fight of the Nights awards, 4 Performance of the Night awards, and 1 Knockout of the Night awards in the UFC. Each of these amounts to $50,000 each and making Max earnings from bonus alone to be close to half a million dollars. According to multiple sources, he has earned over $4 million from his fights alone. These include being in the main card pay-per-view fighter in matchups against Brian Ortega and Anthony Pettis. Aside from fight purses, the blessed fighter has also received a variety of interest from sponsors. Not only does he have the attention of top fighters in the league, but also fans from across the world. With a social media presence in YouTube, Instagram, and more, he's able to capture endorsement deals with Reebok, Manscaped, Budweiser, and the list goes on. He has over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 2.5 million followers on Instagram. Being a top fighter in the UFC comes with its benefits, and especially one that has some of the most loyal fans such as Holloway. He's no stranger to getting nice things with his fame and fortune as well, driving a Dodge Charger Daytona. This car can go for as much as $80,000 base price, and it sports an 8-cylinder 6.4-liter engine and usually comes in a sports package. Although it cannot rival that of other top brands such as a Rolls-Royce or a Lamborghini, this sports car is still out of reach for most people. Although a famous fighter, his Hawaii home is said to be quite modest and doesn't really have much. Max is quite a private individual when it comes to showing off his fames. MMA fans can expect someone like him to lead a comfortable but not lavish home. A home that he shares with his son and new fiance, which is one of the most important parts of this famed fighter's life. Number 3. Lifestyle and Rush Holloway When he is not in training, Max tends to spend most of his time with his son Rush and fiance Alessa Cuisson. With Rush, he has introduced him into the UFC world, as you'll see him stand next to Max during interviews, training, and more. Not only is it a time for them to bond, but you also get to see some awesome father and son moments. It just shows you how special these two are to each other. For example, check out this workout session for UFC 240, where Rush got to take part and show off his dance moves. Max's son is there for the highest of highs, but also the lowest of lows. 
Unfortunately, in an octagon, only one person comes out victorious and sometimes it's not always fun to meet the press afterwards. But at UFC 245, Max and Rush had a good laugh and enjoyed each other's company, even when it didn't go their way that night. Ringside, you know? Shaq, control them and everybody. This, this fight, dry as a whistle. That guy had no tears. He, he didn't even care. He wasn't even phased. So um, exactly what I said, you know, a loss is only a loss if you don't learn. And he learned from that. And I hope he learned and he did. You know, he's good today. Look, he's up here dancing, whatever he's doing, lying, doing all that fun stuff. So it's cool. There's clearly a special bond between father and son. And recently, Max also got engaged to Alessa Kozan to add to his growing family. Alessa is a professional surfer who started dating Max in February of 2020, and the couple were engaged in November that year. The trio of Max, Rush, and Alessa have been inseparable on social media. Although suffering from a couple of losses to the current featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky, Max has been training to get another shot at the title. He's known for being a positive fighter who always thinks about how he can continue moving forward. In a recent interview, he mentioned that losing is only a loss if you didn't learn something from it. MMA fans hope he continues his path and only in his late 20s, Max is just beginning to hit his prime. If his fight against Calvin Qatar shows anything at all to his fans, it is that he is a superior striker to almost any fighter in the division. From his new family to the ever-burning fire to get back to UFC gold, fans flock to Max Holloway for his breath of positive vibes in the MMA world. What are your thoughts on Max's career and where he sits at now? Do you think he'll make it back to featherweight gold? And what would you do if you had the lifestyle that he has? We hope you enjoy this lifestyle and net worth video. Check out more at Knockout TV and remember to subscribe to get the latest.